things like cocaine and amphetamine are disastrous for most people because they release so much dopamine and they create these closed loops where people then only crave the particular thing, cocaine and amphetamine, that leads to those massive amounts of dopamine release. Most things don't release that, that level of dopamine. Now, nowadays, there's a ton of interest in social media and in video games. And it, there have been some measurements of the amount of dopamine released. Video games, especially video games that have a very high update speed where there's novel territory all the time, no, novelty is a big stimulus of dopamine. Those can release dopamine somewhere between nicotine and cocaine. So very high levels of dopamine release. Social media is an interesting one because the amount of dopamine that's released in response to logging onto social media initially could be quite high, but it seems like likely that there's a taper in the amount of dopamine but and yet people still get addicted. So why? Why is it that we can get addicted to things that fail to get to elicit the same massive amount of pleasure that they initially did? Being addicted to something isn't just about the fact that it feels so good that you want to do it over and over again, and that's because of this pleasure pain balance that underlies motivation. So let's look a little bit closer at the pleasure pain balance because therein lies the tools for you to be able to control motivation toward healthy things and avoid motivated behaviors towards things that are destructive for you.